Wow, another day, another... Oh, look, they didn't include everything that we're getting in the updates in the trailer. Wow, they're, they're really going hard, though. This is not one, but two? Two map changes? Dude, I, I like, started the day, I was like, all right, we're gonna do, like, a breakdown of, like, the thing, right? So I grab Ardenin and Rasikis's whole thing where they, they were working on deciphering text from Splatoon 3. And I was like, oh, I can actually use this to see what they're saying. It says Pinku. I was like, I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even deciphering any more of this. We now have three maps that are probably getting changes of the update at minimum. For reference, the other one that's getting changed that we know about is Scorch Gorge. We don't know how much. Uh, currently, all we can see is a couple of boxes in the middle of the map. But you, you never know. I don't know, man. Three is like an odd number. So what if they just did a fourth? Just saying, if they wanted to add pathing to another map during this season and make it a nice even four, Tower Control Brinewater Springs is right there. Br Brinewater is there in general, you know? It's not too late, guys. You can add a fourth map. <laughs> but this being, that might be being greedy. <laughs> so I'm gonna do what I can to break down what's going on on Barnacle and Dime based on what we can see, and on Hammerhead based on the very much a lot of map that we're getting here to look at. Yummy. We're gonna focus on Hammerhead first because the image is just easier to work with. I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever gone out of my way to purposely land up here on these boxes. And it seems pretty clear that their first intention is to take these boxes and maybe make it into like a singular platform. Remember that anything I say could end up being wrong because we don't know actually what they're gonna do, but it feels like it makes sense. Then you'd actually want to land up here and it could be somewhere safe so you could build special before actually having to push in. Now what happens beyond spawn is where it begins to get interesting. If I pull back up this map for a second, you've noticed they've added something else right beyond this great area here. You can see the grate on the map. It's that little gray sliver right next to the pink. Right now, there's a big old hole here. But if they're gonna add a platform over here, you actually have somewhere to stand, like beyond this without having to drop down. If they make like some way for you to get back up here, it would turn into a plank. I, I doubt they're doing that, but at least you would have somewhere to go. It'll make the spawn a bit better for the user. After talking about spawn, I jumped back to turf war for Hammerhead and I realized they already want you to go up here. Please turn this into a platform, please. Now the final pink area in the top middle is associated specifically with just this area right here. There's a number of things they could do. They could make it into a ramp. That's why maybe you could actually come up here easily. They could just make like, just, just one. Just one of these walls inkable. Dude, it would literally change the feel of the map if they changed just one wall here. When you drop down from here, you end up looking directly at the area that's green. Lord have mercy. Perfectly boxed off. It would, it would just be a shame. You know, this is green right here on the map. Like, you could see exactly where it is. Where I'm standing is that green area right next to that little box. That's where we're standing right now. The green area consists of this spot right right here, right here, this block right here, and the area right here and in front of it. They gotta be adding like some kind of flank, right? They don't have to make a wall inkable up there, admittedly. Like they could they could turn the part up there into a ramp and the area down here into a wall that's what they could do because we already have a ramp that's like in the back over there correct so why not turn this into a wall this into a ramp and then you have two different paths of entry on hammerhead bridge here i think a lot of people would clap their hands and there's one last area here on hammerhead bridge that like is filling a lot of people with hope they want to put something right here if you could actually make this jump it completely changes the versatility of this map. Like, is the map still a straight line bridge where you can get ink zooked from like halfway across if you stand here? Ab absolutely. Absolutely, 100%. But like, you could go in like from here, drop down here and come this way, which just gives you more pathing. Would they actually do it? Currently, the only thing that can make it over there is my machine slosh. I'm wearing a little bit of swim speed right now, but like, 
Uh, oh, I didn't even jump. Barnacles changes are more specific. There's less of them, but we can see them directly on the image here. Like, the first thing that I noticed is they're adding, like, a little teeny tiny wall. Right, right here. Right here. Currently, if you want to get around this backside and be a little bit silly, you gotta show up here and show yourself off. Now you have another option. Just go up the, go up, go up, go up the wall right here. Assuming the little wall they put right here is paintable, it'd be, please, 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 please don't consider not doing that. You'd be able to like squid roll slash surge off of it and show up up there with your armor intact too, which could help you to like put a little extra paint down on the zone if you're in like a really bad situation. So thumbs up. But the biggest, most obvious thing they're doing is that next to where all of this shenaniganry is going on with this little wall here, they're adding in like a whole doodad here. Like a whole pole. More poles for the video game. <laughs> so in the image above me, you can actually see the exact tiling that I'm looking at right now with my camera. When I zoom out from it, you can see that they've actually changed around this sniping spot a little bit. It's more of a block here instead of this big old chunk of glass. And when you walk out from here, there's gonna be a chunk of grating behind it instead of getting you stuck there with only this drop where everyone can see you and me being machine, I can just hit you. <laughs> You'll be able to drop over here or just stay on some grates that they're gonna put right over here. And it will actually attach directly to this side of the map here, like to where this little wall is that you're gonna be able to zoop up will be. It's kind of awesome. It kind of has the vibe of like a better version of that little grate and pole that's on Umami Ruins. I'll switch over to that map in a second to show you. Based on what we can see in this image, the pole should be about like there. From this angle, it's just a little hard to tell, you know? It almost seems like they want you to move forward and then drop into it over here. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even mean to fall in the water that time. Although honestly, looking at it, they might just increase this entire area. Because if they do that, they can keep the water in the back and also allow this entire area to become a platform. I don't know. We have it here already going from spawn, although it's in slightly different shape, and this pole is very clearly not paintable. The one in the image looks like it could be paintable. I think it's kind of mean if they make a long, tall, rectangular pole like that with a side that has a different texture than all the other ones. Like, it looks like this should be paintable here on the new one. I wouldn't be shocked if they did it, but I would love to see it be a paintable pole, because then you'd be able to get back to your spawn. And also, it would automatically add a really strong flank path to the map too, which would be a lot of fun to use. Well, there you have it. We're getting at least two changes that will definitely, like, improve the viability of these maps between the flank path that we're seeing possibly being added on Barnacle and Dime, and just in general movement options, and the fact that they're just, they're just they're just going crazy with Hammerhead. Will it end up changing a lot in the end? Who knows? If they add at least one movement path, everybody will clap their hands very, 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 very fast. Scorch gets at least some cover boxes. We don't know how much it's actually gonna change the map or if they'll add anything else. Like, hey, I mean, uh, if you want, you could do the same thing you're doing to Barnacle and Dime, but just put a box like, like right here. Put like a pole and a grate up here and let us just go over there. Ooh, 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 it's not too late. In all seriousness, from a competitive and a casual perspective, adding in more ways of making these maps feel good means that when you're like starting to do a rotation for the day and playing the video game, you don't have to look at a rotation in game and be like, ah, you know, I, I, you know, I think I'll skip out on playing later because insert map that I don't want to play is going to be there. It's fun to see them do stuff, especially stuff that makes the game feel alive. Since these are both areas that are considered like active use inside of Incadia right now, it's fun to see the ad not be like, watch out, caution tape, we're closing the map. Instead, it's like, it's like a fun ad. And then the Cali jump scare to make it also like a fun news update. Our girlie's still doing the news. It makes me just enjoy Splatoon and everything they got going on more, you know? That's all I really gotta say. I hope that you're excited for these map changes. I hope they end up being useful. And I hope that we keep on winning. Yippee! Also like loud pointing, multiple maps for big, big run. We already knew this, but like, wee! And also maybe the Grisco roller, wee!